What's cracking, nap time? I'm coming at you. Uh, just before the 6 o'clock hour. And it is already 75 degrees outside. Mm. And it's it's supposed to be just brutal today. The, the humidity is so high that when you just walk outside, you're kind of sticky. Yeah, that's where we're at. All right. It's always good to start things off with gratitude. Today I'm going to be really thankful for air conditioning. You know what I mean? It wasn't very long ago. But air conditioning was not a thing. And I think about those dudes from Chicago in King Oliver's band. You know, Louis Armstrong. He's like a 19-year-old kid, 20-year-old kid. They get in a they get in a Ford with all their instruments and they drive from Chicago to Richmond, Indiana in June. Oh I mean that must have been brutal. It was like 1927. I bet it was I bet it was just nasty. But we got air conditioning now. So we don't have any excuses. Get to work. What I've got is two days. I got today and tomorrow. <laughs> and that's the end of this. That's the end of this project. On Saturday, I just take the stage, walk off the stage, peace out. Not allowed to say a word. Can't talk to the audience, can't talk to the sound guy, can't say thank you. None of that. They got some real strict rules. And then. I'll, I'll be working on the next project. I'm pretty excited about it. And I'm going to I'm going to treat myself to a blind Blake song when this is all over. See what I'm saying? As like a as like a little That's the carrot on a string for me. I always at the end of a, at the end of a big project, I treat myself to a blind Blake song because he's the best. He's just the absolute best. And so, I think my next Blind Blake song is going to be in drop D. I don't generally play in drop D. But I think all the licks in there, because it's in drop D, will transfer over nicely to the D blues of Scrapper Blackwell. And so, I think... I think Bad Feeling Blues is the next one I'm going to learn. Maybe. Maybe. It's got some really pretty runs in there that I want. That I want for my own. Keep them in my pocket. Okay. Well, just like always, I'm going to go play. Because that's all there is for it now. I didn't, I didn't drive myself crazy yesterday. I'm not feeling very anxious. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put my three hours in today in a sitting position, just just to get more and more comfortable with that. I I feel like I could play sitting now and I'd be all right. But the more the more hours I have under me, the better. There there are little things about how to. Lift your wrist off the soundboard. How to push on the corner of the guitar with your forearm to keep it stable when you're doing really specific things up on the neck. They're just all these like weird little things that you don't really think about that you got to start thinking about, or else. You buzz notes, and you go home. That's how it's going to go. But that's all right. That's all right. All right. So, all I got to do is play perfectly in front of a bunch of people on my first try. Simple, right?
All right. All right. Hope you guys have a really good day.